So, I was in the library of my sound scripts, digging, throwing away what I couldn't reconcile, growing behind me a huge pile of uncovered books of beauty as my light was diminishing. It was too late when I realized I was again alone in darkness, as I always am, searching as I always do. And suddenly, like a flash of darkening, I felt the surge of unknown vortex, and the inner voices started to merge into my third eye cortex. I lost the sight of my sight, the feet above my ground, and through a waterfall of sound, I commenced my descent. I couldn't see the edge of me and the beginning of darkness overwhelming sense of space, my cold skin touching torn pieces of wormholes that take you beyond time, my breaths smelling spells that unravel in devil what is divine. I was blind on the outside, but on the inside, my pi eye and all my other fractal eyes were driving gears through the unexpected change of weather. I was navigating through the nebulous rhythms of shapes and colors, contorting my bones to hit the glorious stones of sound, making sure I hit every bit of it, every boulder, every pebble, every particle of crushed light, in the right moment, at an awkward angle, in the light of breaking open my old hard as hell shell I was wearing for too long. We were falling now upwards, towards the sky abyss, what is never mentioned in the old scripts as Nebesdan. Countlessness of breaths and sounds carried me, braids of dissonance and harmony pulled me, waves of bound rhythms washed me on the shores of light. Darkness was dissolving, as well as my old shell, and I saw my new flesh for the first time, still pulsing live from this dance. I was newborn again. I opened my eyes. I stopped and realized what has happened. I had recorded this raw didgeridoo pulsation for wild dance, sex and meditation into one piece spell that is never to be broken and I called it Nebesdan.